In 1973, for the Orange Bowl football game, they have a parade, like they do every year. And this year, this one company, they wanted to make sure they won with the float, their float in the parade. And they spent weeks upon weeks, they probably spent about 10 weeks more than any other ones working on their float. And it was beautiful. I mean, they took the time, they had to, these uh, uh, little flowers, they had to glue uh, them on. And it was so painstakingly, the work they had to do on the outside of that float, and it did, it looked beautiful. Uh, for the outside of the float, it won. But something happened halfway through that parade, and that is, it ran out of gas. And they did an investigation about it and found out it was the Standard Oil Company, the gas company that owned the float. So you see the problem is, is they spent so much time on the outside and all the emphasis was on the outside and not the inside. And that's what's important for us. The Apostle Paul in Ephesians chapter 3 verses 14 through 19 is saying a prayer for Christians that they'll be strengthened and spend time on their inner being. And that's really our prayer for you at Project Rescue, that you work on the inside. Be careful about what's on the inside. Let me read Paul's prayer. For this reason I bow my knees before the Father, from whom every family in heaven and on earth is named, that according to the riches of his glory, he may grant you to be strengthened with power through his spirit in your inner being so that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith, that you being rooted and grounded in love may have strength to comprehend with all the saints what is the breadth and length and height and depth and to know the love of Christ that surpasses knowledge that you may be filled with all the fullness of God. What's what's in it? Inside say what's what's in it? And you say what's what's in it? Inside say what's inside of you? What's what's in it? Inside say what's what's in it? And you say what's what's in it? Inside say what's inside of you? What's what's inside? What's in What's inside? What's inside of you? What's inside? What's what's in you? What's what's inside? What's inside of you? Indian chief was telling his grandson a story about two wolves that were fighting within him and these wolves fought every day. One wolf was evil, never satisfied, always in strife, always hungry and always angry. And the other wolf was good. It was about peace and joy and was always satisfied and in a good mood. And these wolves battled every day, day in and day out. 
The grandson raised his hand and asked him, Grandfather, wait, tell me which one wins. Tell me which one wins. And the grandfather had answered, the one I feed, the one I feed. You know, the Apostle Paul wrote about the battle of good and evil within us. He told us about the battle between the spiritual part of us and the fleshly part of us. Galatians 5, 17, for the flesh lusts against the spirit and the spirit against the flesh. And these are contrary to one another. So in a sense, we have two wolves within us fighting every day. And when a man comes into Project Rescue, oh, his bad wolf is so strong. It's so strong. And the good wolf is so weak it can't even stand up. It's over in the corner with its tail between its legs. But as time goes by and that program member reads and prays and studies the Bible and does the Bible, then that good wolf will begin to get stronger and stronger and the bad wolf weaker. And then one day that good wolf will start to get his legs up and get its footing and start to stand up in the back. We'll knock it down. But we can't give up. We got to keep trying, keep praying, keep studying the Bible. And eventually that bad wolf will be so weak that it'll be the one over in the corner with its tail between its legs and the good wolf will be strong. Which wolf are you feeding? Which wolf is winning within you? What's inside of you? What's what's in it? Inside say what's what's in it. And you say what's what's in it. Inside say what's inside of you. What's what's in it. Inside say what's what's in it. And you say what's what's in it. Inside say what's inside of you. What's what's in it. What's in What's inside? What's inside of you? inside of you that's what I'm going to try to think about today and I want to encourage you to do that too think of what's in your inner being today and meditate on scripture and even pray when you're able to I want to read for you now the end of Paul's prayer it's his prayer for me and for you and for all Christians now to him who is able to do far more abundantly in all that we ask or think according to the power at work within us, to him be glory in the church and in Christ Jesus throughout all generations, forever and ever. Amen. Let's go to God in prayer. Father, we bow to you humbly now, thanking you so much for even making this avenue of prayer possible. Father, we're going to try our best as we go out and meet this day to be mindful 
of your word being inside of us and working in us and our praying to you. Be with the men as they go out. Father, please keep them safe. Keep them safe from the devil. And may they be strong in you. We say this prayer in Jesus' name. Amen.